How are silane sealers different from a silane siloxane sealer or siloxane sealer? So silane sealers, are, the silane is, it comes from silicone, it's, a, it's a, uh, derived from silicone, very small molecules that penetrate deep into the concrete. We use silanes in very dense concrete. Uh, we use them a lot for uh, structural uh, bridges, bridge decks, car uh, parking decks, a lot of uh, commercial industrial applications. They're very volatile. They do uh, evaporate very quickly. So you have to have a lot of silane uh, in your formulation in order to make sure that uh, when you apply it and they evaporate, that there's still some left in the concrete. So tend to be more expensive and um, just uh, more difficult to use. A uh, silane siloxane is a blend. They're, they're using a siloxane uh, molecule or um, compound that's actually made from silanes, but they're chained together, they're linked together. So it's a larger compound that um, sits, doesn't penetrate as deep, uh, but it's not as volatile. It's not, uh, not going to evaporate as quickly. So uh, the other thing about the siloxanes is that we can use them in lower pH environments. The, the silanes don't really work as well in older concrete that's, not, that's lost some of its alkalinity. It's, it's, it's a lower pH, as we say. Uh, different surfaces like uh, brick and block that may have larger voids or lower pH than uh, you know, high, highly densified concrete slab. That's where the silane siloxanes come in to play. Uh, using siloxanes on their own is not normal uh, because, like I say, you do want to have some deeper penetration. So the best way is to blend a silane siloxane together and then using like a water base, a water emulsion to uh, carry that into the concrete uh, is uh, a safer way, an easier way to handle the products than using a solvent-based silane, for example.